Hello out there, I'm Robert and welcome to Hobby King. This video is a supplement to our blog on our website on how to tell if a lipo is safe or not. Okay, we get a lot of questions about this, so in addition to the blog, I figured we'd do a helpful video for some that just don't feel like reading. <laughs> a lipo is a lithium polymer battery. It's a relatively new technology as far as batteries go, and they are the most common batteries used in RC today. So we get a lot of questions as to how do I tell if it's safe to use or not. It's maybe swollen a little bit, or it's old and it's dusty and dirty, and you know we just don't know if it's safe. So how do you know? Well, there's a number of different ways to do it. First of all, let's just understand what a LiPo is, okay? It's just like any other battery or most other batteries. It's got a elect positive electrode, which is the cathode. It's got a negative electrode, which is the anode. And then it has an electrolytic chemical in it that transfers power and ions and whatever else, <laughs> electrons, back and forth between those uh, electrodes. And that's how it discharges and or charges, okay? So batteries can fail for a number of different reasons but one of them is that over time that electrolyte in between the anode and cathode degrades okay and this is just normal it's just going to happen okay there's really not much you can do about it um, and when that happens uh, certain gases are released and they cause the battery to puff up because it's sealed up it's just okay and just puffs up and again there's nothing you can do about it but we can determine whether or not the battery is safe through a number of different means okay if your battery is, is, is an older one and it's slightly puffed but still has voltage and still has low internal resistance, then it's probably okay. Again, a little puffing can be considered normal, okay? And when I say a little puffing, I mean just a little bit where it's like it pack doesn't feel super tight but just has a little bit of give in it when you squeeze it like that, okay? This pack is, this is an older pack that I've had for a little while and I've used a lot. <laughs> I have flown this pack. Well, I've had this since uh, 2019 in July, so this is an older pack. And uh, so it's got a tiny, tiny little bit of give to it, okay? I checked it out, it still has low IR internal resistance and the volts are still fine. So a pack like this is still okay to use, okay? If you have, uh, let's say, a brand new battery and it comes to you puffed up, well that's not good. So if, if something like that happens first, reach out to support immediately and we'll take care of that for you, okay? But if you get a battery and after three, four, five, ten uses, it starts to puff up a lot, something's wrong, okay? And check your system, check the battery, but more than likely that battery is defective and you need to get rid of it safely and responsibly, okay? Um, but, you know, so the first thing to do is obviously check it again physically, just look for it. Does it have any dings? Does it have any damage on it? Is it, is it you know, smashed? Is it, you know, got a hole in it? <laughs> uh, anything like that get rid of it. Safety first, okay? Lipos can be dangerous, they can be um, caustic, so if there's any question about a lipo battery, it's not worth it to try and save it. You can't, okay? Just dispose of it safely and responsibly and get a new one, okay? Just please always replace them. After you've physically checked it, you know, make sure, okay, it looks pretty solid, it looks okay, then use a meter that can check your voltage, make sure that all the volts are about the same within 0.02 volts or so, give or take. Um, whether they're fully charged or it's storage charged or discharged down to like 3.6 volts or 3.7 volts, which is about as low as I like to go. Um, fully charged LiPos are 4.2 volts, so if you have one that's 4.2 and then you have a cell that's 4.19, that's okay. That's not a huge difference. It's nothing really significant. Um, some people are really particular and want everything to be 4.2, and so, well, that's, that's up to you. But 4.19, 4.18 even is acceptable. 0.02 volts, you're not talking about much at all there, okay? The other thing to do is to check your internal resistance for each cell in the battery. Most chargers these days will do that, and also a lot of the cell checkers will do that as well. And internal resistance is a very, very good indicator of battery health, okay? So, so if you have a battery and your internal resistance is, let's say, five, around five millivolts, per, uh, milliohms, sorry, per cell, um, that's okay. All right, anything, anything below 10 milli, milliohms per cell is generally considered to be okay for a battery that's properly broken in and being used. Um, we consider anything above 20 to be pretty bad, okay? And at that point, you're just gonna be creating heat in the battery when you use it, and that's no good. So um, 10 and under is okay. 10 to 15, eh, it's on its way out, still maybe usable, but probably keep a close eye on that one because it's going. And then certainly 20 and up, pfft, no, it's, it's ready to go in the bin, okay? Again, safely and responsibly. Don't just throw batteries in the trash, please. You've got to take them to a recycling center or some kind of facility that takes batteries in, okay? 
Um, what I do when I get a brand new battery is the first thing I do is test it, obviously, immediately. Just test it, check it out. I run it through a few cycles. And when I say cycles, I don't mean put it on the charger, charge it, and then discharge it on the charger. I mean, charge it up. If it looks okay, I put it in a model. And I either drive it around or fly it around a couple of laps and stuff like that just to see how it looks. Um, that because you know on a charger you're just not pulling the same discharge rate you know, you're not pulling the same amperage out of a battery like that so you want to uh, use it in a model okay so unless it looks defective or shows some kind of bad readings charge it up put it in a model fly it drive it whatever and see how it goes see how it ch check it when it comes down and uh, you know you should be good to go um, and I label my batteries I put the the date when I received them and I also will usually put the cycle number on them uh, after a time I'll put a date of you know brand new and then I'll put a date three months later I'll say I've done 50 cycles on this battery since that new date and that way I can keep a close eye on what my, uh, my battery's health and performance in general lipo life expectancy is two to three years okay that's what we usually use as a ballpark figure to say well you know how long do lipos last it depends on a lot of different factors, how many cycles you put on them, how old they are, what kind of battery, the, the chemistry, um, you know, how you take care of them. If you take care of your batteries, they'll last. I've got batteries that are five years old that are still have really low IR and they perform great. Uh, you know, I take care of my batteries and so should you. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you know, at minimum if a well taken care of battery, two to three years, even more if they're really well taken care of. But uh, the bottom line is again, just you know, keep a close eye on them, check them out often, and don't abuse them, and they'll take care of you. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us on support. We have uh, email support and also online chat 24-7. We're always here to help and answer questions and any concerns you have. You can follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. And, so keep an eye tuned to our YouTube channel for more updates. We're going to have a lot more blog videos coming that supplement, again, our online blog, uh, how to charge batteries properly, uh, what kind of airplanes are out there, and, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's all a lot of really good information. All right, so we'll see you out there. Thanks.